and laughs in all that I create. Today I'm going to show you how to add hand lettering to a photograph using Photoshop. This technique looks great on advertisements, website headers, and prints for resale. Now you want to be sure that you're using a photo that you actually have the rights to so you don't have any legal trouble down the road. This video is sponsored by Graphic Stock, a subscription service that allows you to download royalty-free photos that you can then use indefinitely, even in commercial projects. It's $99 a year, but I do have a link for a one-week free trial in the video description that allows you to download up to 140 images for free, so you can go ahead and try that today. So I'm downloading this gorgeous photo of a horse. It has plenty of negative space for lettering. I'm going to go ahead and crop it into a square so my finished project will look pretty on Instagram. Print the picture and use washi tape to add a piece of tracing paper on top. I'm partial to Strathmore's 300 series tracing paper. This allows us to easily work around the horse's profile. I'm going to speed up the footage so you can watch the sketch. I'm doing what I call a wave layout with the words following a series of curved lines. I'm loosely following the outline of the horse. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Why don't I try this at home? Try this at home. Leave a small spacing gap before drawing the cap height guideline for the second series of words. Repeat until your quote fills most of the photo's negative space. I'm lettering a quote by Virginia Woolf. Now that I have my sketch done, I can ink it. I'm using my favorite Pigma Micron pen in size 05. I'm not using a ruler at all for this project, as I want the finished design to be somewhere between rough and whimsical. When you're done inking, gently erase your pencil marks and scan the design. Now we're ready to add it to our original picture in Photoshop. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The first is quick and easy but sometimes looks a little rough around the edges. I recommend starting with this method and then moving on to the second if you're not thrilled with the results. Place your image of the horse, then place the image of your lettering. We need to remove the white background so we can see the horse beneath. With your lettering layer selected, go to the layer menu, then select layer style, then blending options. Slide the top sliding gradient scale to the left until your background disappears. You can then change your ink color or fill the letters using the paint bucket tool. This second method uses a mask, giving you crisper results. Place the horse photo and then your lettering as before. Make sure you're on the lettering layer and then select all. Hit copy. Then, press the quick mask button at the bottom of your toolbar. Hit paste and you should now see your text in pink. Unclick the quick mask button. Then, make a new layer. Hide the original lettering layer. Make sure you're on the new layer and select inverse. Then go to the edit menu and select fill, then either black or color.
As with the previous method, you can change outlines and fills using the paint bucket tool. Lettering is a fun way to add a handmade touch to digital designs and photographs. If you need some images to start with, check out that free trial of Graphic Stock by following the link below. For more lettering and DIY tutorials, visit my website at madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.